Well, welcome back to uh, I Make Beer. Uh, to this week, or this time, I always say this week, it's, I don't go out there, put videos out every week. But anyways, this time we're making a Wee Heavy. Um, this actually is a buddy of mine's favorite beer. The only thing he pretty much drinks is Scotch Ale. And I've made this, well, I've made this a few times, but the last batch I made last year, he, uh, I gave him, I think, a growler or two. And he says it was one of the best compared to a lot of the other Scotch Ales in the area that are really good. Um, he put it up there. We'll, we'll say equal with those. I'm not going to say it was better, but dog just hit the camera. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're doing the Wee Heavy. Uh, it's going to call to, should come out to 8.1%, um, relatively uh, sweeter beer. So I think the final gravity is around 1026, somewhere around there. Um, I'm doing a half batch. I'm doing a, <clears throat> excuse me, about a three gallon batch. I had to split it uh, because otherwise there would have been about 16 or 17 pounds of grain and nine gallons of water and my claw hammer wouldn't have been able to handle that. It would, it's way too much. So I split it in half. We'll do approximately two and a half gallons. I got two and a half gallon kegs anyway, so I can do it that way. And with it being 8.1, I'm not going to be pounding these all the time anyways. Uh, so we're going to get going. I've already added the salts to the uh, water. And as you can see, I'm wearing a, showing off the guns. Uh, I just got back from running and so I didn't feel like changing. So this is what we're doing. Uh, we are, I got a mill. We'll add our grains um, and then we'll just keep moving on. So Cheers, drinking my coffee. It's still morning, barely. So we'll get moving with this later. In here, you can just see me milling. and then double crushing. In here I'm placing the basket of our grist in the kettle. We started the mash, mash is at 158. We're gonna mash for 60 minutes. Um, I'm gonna put the recipe, you'll probably see it here and then also in the description below. The five gallon recipe, uh, even though I, I split this uh, down to two and a half, but I will post the five gallon. You can make your own decision on how you wanna do it from there if you follow the recipe. <clears throat> I also added smoked barley. Um, Steve from uh, the apartment brewer just made a wee heavy uh, and posted it on YouTube. Just weeks ago maybe a week ago and he recommended not using it it's not part of the style um, I looked up some recipes and I found people that were adding smoked barley uh, so what I, I just added a handful I mean I barely any probably half an ounce if that <clears throat> uh, my original recipe called for an ounce for this two and a half gallon and you know actually it was a 0 0.3 0 0.3 ounces because I still had it in the scale when I threw it in there so um, that's all I put in uh, I've never used it before, uh, even though Steve didn't recommend it. We'll see how this one comes out comparative to my other uh, Wee Heavies that I made. So, well, we got that. I got to go grab the hops because they're out in the freezer. And then we're going to continue on with this brew day. And I'm going to drink my coffee because I haven't had enough yet today. So I'm taking a sample of our wort and going to take a pH which came out to 5.6. And then I added seven milliliters of lactic acid. And that brought it down to five point, almost 5.5. .5. All right, now, so we are done with the mash, or we got to mash out right now. So we're gonna raise the temperature up to 168 for 10 minutes. So 
So once it gets up to 168, then I'll start my 10 minute timer. All right, so we're done with our mash out and we're gonna raise the basket, drain it and start the uh, oil. It's at the boil, I tell you. All right, so we got our first addition of hops, uh, 0.8 ounces for this two and a half gallon batch of uh, East Kent, four and a half percent uh, alpha acid on these. So this is going in at the 60 minute, right at the start. And we got a gravity of 105.9. Uh, yeah, so, so, uh, I'm gonna call it 106.0. All right, so we have 15 minutes left in the boil. I'm adding my uh, yeast nutrients and Werflock tablet. And then I'm also adding my last uh, edition of East Kent, which is, I think, uh, 0.3 ounces. So that's going in now. And then we're going to start the cycle through the pump and the chiller to get that sanitized. Okay, our time wise, our boil is over, but I want to check the gravity because we're low. All right, 1.084, we're supposed to be at 109.0. So, I'm gonna let this boil. So that little extra uh, boil time brought it right up to about 1.093, supposed to be at 109.0, so we're right on the money. In here you just see the temperature going down while I was, we're doing a whirlpool and running it through the plate chiller. So the hydrometer is 108.9. We're supposed to be at 109.0. Good deal. So all I do for adding biofine to a keg is I just fill a syringe. I got this little hose that I rigged up on this uh, ball lock. Um, so you put it into the, that doesn't really matter. You can go into the air or the, um, Yes, you can, go, you can go into the gas side or the beer side. I'll probably just throw it in the gas side because this will only fit on the gas side. Here I'm uh, kegging the Wee Heavy, doing a closed transfer. As you can see, I was spraying some star sand on the ball locks so I don't get any contaminants in there. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, I make beer. My name's Steve. Uh, we're just doing the tasting now of the Wee Heavy. The uh, Wee Heavy uh, finished out, at, so it finished out at 6.7%, um, which does fall under the guidelines, barely. Uh, the uh, guidelines indicate that the original gravity should be 1.070 to 1.130. Uh, mine was 1.089, and the um, final gravity was supposed to fall in the range of 1.018 to 1.040. Mine finished out at 1.039. Um, so I just cut it there in the um, the guidelines for a wee heavy. The SRM is supposed to be between 14 and 25, and mine was almost 23. And the IBUs 
uh, between 17 and 35, and my IBUs were 24. So everything fell into the guidelines. Um, it just stalled out fermenting, fermenting wise. I felt it should have finished out at 103.0, and it finished out at 103.9. Um, it would have brought that final alcohol volume or percentage up. But that's that. Um, so the Wee Heavy uh, here, we got really nice head on this thing. Um, nice and tan. And it's really uh, condensed, I guess would say. Uh, very tight bubbles, small bubbles. Um, came out really well. I'm really happy with it. I'm just going to set that there for a second because I do have my notes. Um, so, uh, we'll go with color. Um, it, again, falls into the guidelines, uh, of the color, but it's, it's, a uh, it's like a, a brown, chocolate brown. Um, it's, it's clear, but it's so, I think it's so dark that you're having a hard time seeing through it. Um, uh, it's, but it is cleared up. Um, aroma. <sighs> Hop aroma is really, uh, in the background. Um, does have that bready aroma to it. Malty, definitely malty. Mouth feels really nice. Uh, it's smooth, creamy. There's a slight. You get a little bit of alcohol, but not really much. It's six point seven percent, and I I think it because it finished out so high with the sweetness that it's covering up that um, stronger alcohol feel and taste. You do get a little bit of the dried fruit with this. So this fermented 12 days. Um, I left it in the uh, fermenter a little longer because it sort of stalled out. Um, at Well, it was stalled out at like 1.041. Uh, I bumped the temperature up a little bit to see if I could maybe get that yeast to start up again. And then it dropped down to 1039 and that just stayed there. Uh, and that's where we finished out. Uh, then I kegged it. And it's actually been kegged for about a week. Uh, it was having a hard time. And I only made two and a half gallons. Uh, and actually, I made about three gallons. And I filled up the two and a half gallon keg a little bit too high. And there was enough headspace in there. And it was having a hard time to carbonate. So I had to get some, pour out a couple pints of the beer uh, so I could increase that headspace. And then it carb carved up really nice. I mean, it. it now it's looking really good. I changed up this recipe from other wee heavies I've made. I think I'm going to go back to the old recipe that I had. <laughs> uh, this one, I, I just didn't, I don't know, it didn't finish up right. Um, and I had enough yeast in there because I put a whole package in for basically a half a batch. So I know I wasn't scarce on yeast. Um, so I'm not really positive why that stalled out like it did. Uh, my temperatures were consistent. Everything, you know, was fine. Um, so who knows? Who, who knows what it is? But I think my recipe that I made prior to this, because uh, I did change some things in this one, uh, I think I'm going to go back to my old one. I think that one turned out better. But I will say this is still a very, very good beer. Um, if you like your Scotch Ales, your Wee Heavies, um, really good. Uh, for the amount of smoked malt I put in, don't bother. If you end up looking at the recipe down below, de negate that. And I know technically it's not in the guidelines. So um, Steve at my apartment brewery, sorry, you were right. I was wrong. Um, but otherwise, uh, it turned out really well. Uh, I've been working on the uh, the how to brew series that I'm doing. Um, I've got one sort of done, the first one, but I want to try and get a couple of them done um, so I'm not falling behind. I want to 
release those on specific dates and make sure they're come out the date that I say they're going to come out and I'm not backed up by editing. I also am doing, um, going to be kegging my bourbon aged barrel stout. And that wasn't aged in barrels. It was aged in a plastic bucket with uh, oak st uh, spirals that I had soaked in bourbon. And then it's been aging in there for seven months. Yeah, seven months, almost uh, about seven months, seven and a half months. So I'm going to keg that up next. Uh, so we'll talk about that. I don't believe I had any video of me doing the brewing process because in March I wasn't doing YouTube. But we definitely uh, will see the kegging process. We'll talk, touch on some of the, th the way I did it, the recipe, and obviously the tasting. And I'm really looking forward to that one. I hope uh, I hope it picked up those that oakness, oaky, and that vanilla coming off the oaks, and then obviously that that uh, alcohol from the the bourbon. So, till the next time, folks. Cheers. I make beer. Like and subscribe, please. Like and subscribe. Uh, I've been getting a ton of subscribers though, and I'm really pleased with that. So keep going, uh, and then return. You know, come back. Um, like hopefully, uh, and make comments if there's something that you want to see. Uh, that you would like me to brew or talk about. Um, I mean, I've only been new doing YouTube for a short time, but I have been home brewing for a very long time. So um, I may have answers for you. I may not, but who's to say? Uh, but again, you know, if there's something you guys want to see, let me know, and uh, I'll be more than happy to make it up. Uh, a couple, I got a couple ideas that I'm coming up with that are things I've never ever done before. So I'm looking forward to doing those, and I've never had them, uh, but we'll we'll I'll surprise you with that one. So again, cheers, folks. Salud.